So when we take the breath, we turn the head as little as possible back here, we get the air, we come in, we allow some air to come through our nose, under our bodies, the rest of it, right before the next breath, we blow out and we take another breath. And that's how we think you should breathe in freestyle. The best way to learn to release air bubbles under your body while swimming freestyle is simply by thinking about it and practicing it. We take breathing for granted and tend not to think about it while we're swimming. Yet by breathing in a different way, releasing air bubbles from our noses after each breath, we can actually swim faster. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is when we're exhaling underneath the water. Okay, if I've watched hundreds of elite level swimmers and how they breathe underwater is pretty much all done the same way, okay? We wanna make sure that that head is nice and low and we're gonna exhale through the nose, not the mouth. What's gonna happen is those bubbles are gonna come through your nose like Gary was talking about in our classroom session. They're gonna scoot down your body and come up around the chest. Elite athletes put their head down and they trickle some air out of their nose and it goes under their chest as they're moving forward. They exhale quickly, get the next breath, and they do the same thing over and over again. That air bubble coming under the chest is reducing drag and enabling swimmers to actually go faster. We want to keep the head low, exhale through the nose, and then as we take that last little breath, we exhale hard, take that quick breath, and put the head right back in the water. If we keep that head too high, what's going to happen is we're going to get that mustache coming up onto the surface. So I want you guys to think about the exhale on this 50. We're gonna go a 50, breathing every single cycle, whichever side you're comfortable with, and we're just gonna work on that exhale. Everybody got it? Good, first group. Ready, go. Good, second group, ready, go. Keep those heads nice and low so that the bubbles come down our chest. Last little exhale right as the face exits the water, and then face goes right back in that water. Owen has learned that in order to take full advantage of these bubbles under his body, he must tuck his chin down after each breath. Otherwise, with his head tilted forward, the bubbles are less likely to remain under his body. Oxygen in and a little CO2 out, a little air exchange. But that's not what the elite swimmers do. They take their breath and when they drop their head back down, they let some air come out through their nose, under their chest, a bunch of bubbles, and they find their way up to the surface. And I believe the reason they do that, and we've checked this in Florida, is it reduces frontal drag. It actually makes them slippery with the bubbles under their chest. When we measured it, we found it was 9.3% less drag and keeping the air in your lungs. So you take the breath, you come down with the head, let the air come out under your nose, through your nose, under your chest, and then you burst exhale for the next breath. But as soon as you get back down, that's when that air bubbles come out of your nose. Not in your mouth, out of your nose, so it goes under your chest, okay? So we're gonna try that. At first, Ashton is so accustomed to holding his breath under the water he has a hard time releasing some air from his nose. Margo, on the other hand, an experienced and elite freestyle sprinter, has learned how important these air bubbles are to her overall speed. After each breath, she releases an abundant amount of air bubbles that reduce her frontal drag, resulting in less resistance as she swims through the water. Elite freestyler Zane Grothy used the air bubbles under his body to help him set American records in the 500 yard and 1650 yard freestyle events. After a little practice, Ashton gets better at releasing the air bubbles through his nose after each breath and begins to swim faster. For a faster freestyle butterfly or breaststroke, take a lesson from the Emperor Penguins and release some air from your nose after each breath. That's it. 
Good. Nice job, guys.